What's going on YouTube? W A eight here. Me and my sisters Kimmy and Dara, and we're about to react to the honest trailers of Thor Ragnarok. One of the way all three of us was here. We're gonna have to check this out. It's better be funny. Let's watch. It comes <laughs> on. The film was a bit, uh, it was alright, it was... From Marvel Studios. The, one, the, first one. <clears throat> the new logo is still going? Alright, I'll wait. Oh, is it, it's not long. From... still going? I like it. It's nice and simple. It's nice and simple. From... Mar it can be sometimes. Jeez, hey, I love this thing. thing. I love Just it. cut it off. Nobody has time for that. Great, now we're running behind. It's Thor. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. After the Dark World, Marvel is back with a radical new formula for the Thor films. Not making them suck. Yes! <laughs> In an installment that trims all the dead weight off the franchise. From his love interest. Sorry to hear that James is you. To his home land. <laughs> to his friends you couldn't name with a gun to your head. To his bright eye, to his dad, his hair, dang, even his hammer? <laughs> they just trimmed all the weight off, huh? It's like the whole franchise got on Hemsworth's steam chicken diet. <laughs> Meet Thor, God of Thunder, who, despite being able to shoot lightning from his hands, spends most of the film getting electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> Skywalker's himself into the afterlife. His sister Hela, goddess of pointy things, will return to claim the throne in an epic family feud that will make you wonder. Are we sure Thor wasn't the adopted one? Put him next to Hela, Loki, and young Anthony Hopkins and tell me he's not the odd dog. The real <laughs> director, Taika Waititi, takes the reins of a giant superhero movie. Because when you're part of a $14 billion global franchise, YTF not. Now it's out with the old. And in with the jokes. Behold! Oh my stuff. Where boring exposition scenes get tagged by jokes. Oh, I will tower over the mountains mm -hmm. and bury my sword deep in Asgard. I know. Give it a second. Badass moments get tagged by jokes. You wanted to know who I am? <laughs> and even one of the emotional beats <laughs> get tagged by jokes. Piss off, guys! Piss off, guys! Yeah, they overdo it sometimes, but this is a movie where an orgy spaceship shoots fireworks <laughs> over the rainbow bridge where Hulk fights a zombie wolf. <laughs> if your man tries funny. to make you laugh too, you're doing it wrong. We'll follow Thor's exile on Sakaar, a collection of the galaxy's most colorful gladiators, garbage, and gold blooms. <laughs> Who's gonna get it first? And thrill as it turns into the closest thing we'll get to a Planet Hulk movie. Where Bruce Banner awakens to find he spent the last two years of his life as an enslaved killing machine. I've been a Hulk for two years? What the hell happened? And take all of nine minutes to get over it. Mm. You're a veteran. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm undecided. Together, they'll team up with new additions to the Thorniverse, like the depressive alcoholic Valkyrie. Thanks. A Taika Waititi made of rocks. First of all, rock and And a mute bug with knives for arms. And they still have more personality than the Warriors 3. Dodge that bullet, Lady Sif, but don't worry, you still got it coming. Enjoy the first Marvel film where everything actually looks like a classic Marvel comic book that reminds us all there was a cosmic Viking created by nerds on acid in the 60s. It should look crazy with the best bridge sequence since Deadpool, the best two man laser fights since Starship Troopers, and the best vehicle chase sequence where the hero jumps out to take the bad guys down by hand since all the other ones. Satan? 
and Thor, the 4D experience, coming summer 2020 to Disney's California Adventure. <laughs> Flash Thor to it. This makes me hate it more. <laughs> Note to self, before commissioning a propaganda mural depicting my peaceful rise to power, don't commission another mural depicting the horrible, horrible truth. <laughs> and the Oscar for Best Picture goes yeah. to... I mean, it's not a point about so how the film might be the kind of like, right? Right. Well, the same thing, actually. They all look more like... Wakanda yeah. forever. They look more related. Dark hair. Slender. One, one. But to be fair, though... Like, Wakanda forever! Young Anthony Hopkins might have dark hair, but young Odin yeah, obviously, had, obviously had blonde hair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're Black twisting it, they're twisting it. Head. Clearly they liked the movie then. I, I liked the Ragnarok, it was funny, but at the same time, it wasn't the Ragnarok I was looking for. I was looking for a bit more... Ago. Yeah, it was cool fight scenes. Oh. The best scene was Hulk vs. Thor, and, and Thor fighting Surtur at the beginning. Apart from that, uh, mm. the rest of the film was just there. I, like the, I like the end fight. The end when you fight, see Thor like, the end fight when, he had, Hela, yeah, when, he had, when he figured out he had that crazy electric... Him and Hela didn't really have much um, development because we spent most of the time just messing around yeah. on that. I can't moment. remember much of the film. If I can't do that, then it wasn't really great. Yeah, I didn't really want to see it again a second time yeah. that badly either, so it's not obviously that great. I wanted to see Black Panther three times, it's different. I do think Thanos would be a bit more serious though in Infinity Yeah, I don't so think... You, you see there'll be jokey like, characters, there'll be jokes, but... Yeah, they they ain't playing about really, yeah. in Infinity War, man. They, they ain't got time for that shit, hopefully. I'm hoping. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. we'll see. But yeah, that's our reaction to the honest trailers of Thor Ragnarok. If you liked it, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you again.